Now we have seen in the last video that in the intrinsic material, the Fermi level lies around the middle of energy band gap. In this video, we will combine the information on energy band diagram and the Fermi Dirac distribution function. So we have seen the energy band, we have a valence band and a conduction band separated by an energy gap. Now we have said that intrinsic material, the Fermi level lies around the middle. So let's say this is our Fermi level EF. Now let's take a look at our distribution function at 0 Kelvin. So we have along x axis the energy and along y axis we have the probability of finding an electron or our Fermi Dirac distribution function. Let's draw the gate lines. So this is our Fermi level EF. At 0 Kelvin we have said that for energies below EF we have a probability of 1 and for energies greater than EF we have a probability of 0. Now let's bring this band diagram and coincide with our Fermi Dirac distribution function. So it looks something like this. So we have our Fermi level. So what we have done is we have just rotated it and placed it over this diagram to align the Fermi level. Now we can see at 0 Kelvin the distribution function follows our analysis that is the conduction band is empty that is there is no probability of finding an electron here because here it is 0 and here we have a completely filled valence band. Okay, this is a 0 Kelvin. Now let's see what happens as temperature increases. Now as temperature increases we have said that there should be some probability to find electrons in the conduction band. So let's remove the line showing Fermi level at 0 Kelvin and let's draw a Fermi line at a temperature above 0 Kelvin. Now if we take a closer look, let's zoom in a little bit. It is really small but you can see that at temperatures above 0 Kelvin, now we have a small probability, a really small probability of finding electrons in the conduction band. And if you look at here, now we have some probability of electrons missing from the valence band. So this is what happens as temperature increases. So we know that as temperature increases, the valence band electrons gain sufficient energy, crosses the barrier and moves to conduction band. Okay. Now this Fermi level, it's really important because it acts as a reference level for our discussions. We know that in n-type semiconductor, the number of electrons, free electrons is very much greater than the number of holes. And in p-type, we have number of holes greater than number of free electrons. Now we will see the position of Fermi level in n-type and p-type semiconductor materials.